Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we're going to do our first live, so to speak, mock draft, even though this recording is not live. But it's me doing the mock draft and not just putting the the picture of the mock draft on the, you know, on Twitter or on X or whatever you call it, or on my community tab and just saying what I did. I'm going to go through and actually have the mock draft simulator going and kind of talk through, you know, my thought process of who is on the board and, you know, what's going on, kind of similar to, you know, what Chris talked about last night, what him, Mike, and Kerry are going to do. Uh, you know, Hendo is going to do a version of it. And, you know, you just get an opportunity to hear our thought process and what we're thinking is best fit for the Ravens. And, you know, other YouTubers, they kind of throw theirs out there and you kind of hear their thought process and you get a chance to to – go into our minds and see if what we're thinking is what you're thinking. Is it logical? Is it stupid? Is it smart? Is it kind of in line with what you're thinking? And then it all com accumulates into what EDC does or what Harbaugh and what the crew does on uh, the 26th or 27th. Or what's the actual date? I'll tell you in a second. The actual date is, that's the wrong screen, the 25th, the 25th. So um, let's go ahead and get this started and run it from there. So I'm going to start the draft I'm using PFF simulator here. And we are picking 30th. So I kind of walk through the first round and uh, maybe even the second round. And then we'll kind of go through just the Ravens picks from there on out. So we won't be here forever, forever. All right. First round. So let's kind of go back up. Uh, Caleb went first. Drake May. Uh, Marvin Harrison to the um, Patriots. Neighbors, Odunze, Jaden Daniels went to the Giants. And you got your Joe Alt, Dallas Turner, Talisi, uh, Buaga, Olu, Fashano to the Jets, Brock Bowers to Vikings, J.J. McCarthy is the fourth quarterback. I think it's the fourth quarterback. Let's see. Caleb Drake, Jaden, yes. J.J. is the fourth quarterback going to the, the Broncos versus Fontenu went to the Saints. Mims went to the Bengals. Latu went to the man. Latu with with um Watt. Ooh. Brian Thomas and to the Dolphins. DeGene went to the Eagles. Barton went to the Cowboys. They need an old lineman. Kool-Aid to the Bucks. Nate Wiggins, Donnie Mitchell. I mean, Adonai Mitchell went to the Bills. Darius Robinson went to the Lions. Okay, we're on the clock. So, with that being said, O-line, to me, is really the main issue. So, I'm going. what I'm going to do is I'm going to put O-line, tackle, and interior O-lineman in this search. So, obviously, this main guy sits out to me, but I want to go through these other guys first just to, to, to see who's out there. So, JPJ is, is the guy that I really like. And as of right now, it's the guy that I'm probably going to pick if he's here because I'm immediately moving him to guard. Um, Zach Frazier, Jordan Morgan, Kingsley, Kyron. I like Christian Haynes, too. Fisher, Patrick Paul I like, but not in the first round. Mahogany in the first round. Um, Cedric Van. No. None of these guys I really like in the first round other than JPJ. Let me throw some receivers up here. Let me let me take these guys out and throw some receivers and see what what's what's in a receiver pool. Lad, Troy, Roman, Pearsall, Burton, Keon, Leggett, McMillan, Worthy, Baker. Now nah, I'm going with my O line. I'm going with my my first thought. I'm gonna take Jackson Powers Johnson. All right. So let's go back and see what what happened. Again, we're gonna walk through the first second. First and second round. Uh, 49ers pick Ray Straw. Chiefs pick Lad McConkey to add to them. So going into the second round, Chop went to the Eagle. I mean, to the uh, Panthers. Mike Pennis went to the uh, Patriots. Keon Coleman to the Cardinals. Lassiter, Commanders, Leggett, Chargers. So Mateo, Titans, Franklin, Panthers, Morgan Packers. Xavier Worthy went to the Texans. So you're looking at the Texans with Xavier Worthy and Tank Dale. That's a lot of speed. A lot of speed, a lot of quickness, a lot of shiftiness. I like it. 
Not for when we play them, but I like what they're building, you know, for this mock draft. Uh, Braylon Trice went to the Eagle, uh, the Falcons. Bo Nix to the Raiders. Yeah. yeah, okay. It is what it is. Roman Wilson to the Saints. Fist to the Giants. I like Fist. I don't know how he fits there, but I do like Fist. Let's see who else that will stand out. Jonah Ellis is a guy that I'm studying right now to the Rams. I think he fits what they do. Uh, Roger Rosenstahl to the Rosen Garden to the Browns. Jermaine Burton, Cowboys. They need another receiver to kind of add to what they're doing. Pearsall to the Texans. Mm. Y'all know how, well, if you've been paying attention here recently, you know how I feel about Pearsall. Uh, Jalen Polk to the Bills. Chris Jenkins to the Lions, and now we're back on the clock. So we got an old lineman in the first round. So now we got one of those needs filled. So now we can look, we can we can look to receiver again. That's a lot of good receivers right there. McMillan, Vontez Walker, Javon Baker, Johnny. I don't know if I really want to know about Johnny Wilson. I like Baker. I really do. Let me throw some other tackles up here, though, and just see what tackles are out there. Hmm. I'm looking at Corley, but I don't know if Corley will be there when we pick again. But I don't know if Corley. But Walker Speed could open up the entire offense. And if McMillan didn't get hurt, you would really know what kind of receiver he was. I know what kind of receiver he is. But Tez Walker didn't play a lot, so a lot of people don't know what kind of receiver Tez Walker is, too. But that speed, man, Tez Walker's speed, and it's, I, I got to go Tez Walker right here. I, I just, mm, I got to do it. I'm going Tez Walker. All right. So now we're getting the third round. So we're not going to go through all of them. We're just going to go with what's left. So for my sake, let me write down what we have. We have a guard so far. We got a wide receiver. All right. And right now I'm doing, I'm not doing any trades. I'm going to just go through with all the picks. We're sitting at seven minutes. So I'm going to try to get you out of here right around 10. So we're going to kind of speedball this a little bit. Um, let's kind of see what's available. Trey Benson is a, there's a name that, I like, I like, but let's see what's available. Dwayne Carter is a name I like. Cooper Baby is a name I like, but we got a guard. See what's available tackle wise before it get too late. Javon Foster is a name I like, but Foster at ninety three, no. Okay, I, I got a plan. I got a plan. Hopefully, my plan works. Let's see. So I'm gonna go with Trey Benson here as a backup because we don't know what we're getting back from Keaton Mitchell. I'm going to go Trey Benson here. All right. So at 113, let's see if my, my plan got thwarted. Yes, my plan got thwarted by the New England Patriots. Mac, Mac Gunclays was my plan. So let's see what tackles they got out there. So before before anything is, I'm gonna go ahead with my other my other my other backup plan, which is Christian Jones or Javon Foster. Before they get gone. But I do like I do like Xavier Thomas too at age, and we need age. We need age. And I'm writing to make sure I got what I got. And 
And my plan may still work. My plan may still work. There it is. My plan still work. Come on to me, Javon. Come on to me. Come on to me. All right, so we got guard, wide receiver, running back, edge, offensive tackle. So now we can just kind of fill holes and and try to do that. You know, I know late in the seat, late in the the rounds, you really don't have best play available, but at this point, we can try to try to do that and see see what we got. So we got guard, wide receiver, edge, guard, wide receiver, running back, edge, offensive tackle. Let's see what's on the board. So we got to think about special teams too. Safety to kind of pair. Y'all know how I love my Miami guys. And even though James didn't test well, he was very versatile in Miami games. And I watched a lot of Miami games. He can do a lot of different stuff. Can drop down and play some linebacker, or you can leave him back there to do some different things. I think he would be if if Orr can can incorporate some things like Mike did. I think James Williams will be a versatile piece. So I'm going with James right here. And that this is a little bit of a homer pick. You can chastise me for this one. I understand. But that's, a, that's my Miami fandom coming out right there in that pick right there. All right, we got three picks left, 218, 220, and 250. See, we got guard, wide receiver, running back, edge, offensive tackle, and safety. Let's see what's, what's left on this board. Staying away from running back because we I think we good. by Later on in the season, um, Keaton will be back. We got Derrick Henry. We got um, – Justice, so I think we'll be good at running back. I don't think we that one running back I think should be good. Cornerback, that's what I'm missing. That's what I'm missing. Cornerback. I probably should have got cornerback early and started getting that running back, but it's too late now. Let's see what's let's see what's up here at cornerback. Hmm. Let's go with Hardy. Let's go with Hardy. Hardy was on the other side of my guy last year. Let's go with Hardy. All right, got CB. Linebacker. Do we want to go linebacker? I don't think so. Coleman is a name that can compete. Coleman's versatile. Coleman's versatile. He could he could do both. So let's go Coleman here. So we need to throw names in there at that, that offensive spot. So T and G for him. And then I think I want to throw one. I want to do one more shot at this position. I want to go one more shot at this position. And I got a name in mind. Here's the name I got in mind right here, Miles Cole. All right. So what we did is I got guard, wide receiver. Well, we, we can do it right here. This is my... Draft. I started off with Jackson Powers Johnson in the first round. I'm going to move him to guard. And he can be a backup center, too, in case something happens. Uh, Devontae Walker can get in that wide receiver mix. Trey Benson can can get into the running back, you know, mix with behind Derrick Henry. And uh, Justice Hill can be like a core special teamer. And they can we can have a three-headed rotation when just not Justice Hill, when um, Keith Mitchell comes back. And we can start to move on from Justice Hill and whatever this one slash two year deal is with Henry, you'll have Keith Mister, you'll have Trey Benson ready to carry the torch when they decide to do whatever they want to do with with Derrick Henry. Uh, Edge, you got Xavier Thomas, who I like. So those first four picks, they graded me out as a B. Now they gave me a D for Javon Foster, which I understand. You know that may be a stretch of a pick. That could be a uh, project, could be a project, but we throwing competition out there. Gave me a C plus for James Williams. Which again, that was my homer pick. I understand the corn Hardy, who has been a decent corner at Penn State. He was opposite of uh Joy Porter and you know, played some decent football there. And they gave him a B for that one. Brandon Coleman gave me a B for that one. And he played some guard, some tackle. He could compete for any one of those positions on the line except except center. So that's a, a guy that may be a sleeper. And I got a B also for Miles Cole. They gave me an overall B for my draft, really. The only bad pick they're saying I got is Javon Foster, but I needed what I would consider a true tackle to maybe throw in that right side and compete. And that's why I picked that right there. And who knows? He may even get over there and do some things that PFF don't think are happen. So this is my first 
quote unquote live draft while I left the simulator up there and you did, you just didn't get this picture to see. And I kind of talked out my thought process. So tell me what you think. Tell me what picks you like, what picks you didn't like. Um, put your comments down in the comment section. I'm trying to get myself full screen back up here. All right. Tell me what picks you like, what picks you didn't like, where, where I went wrong, where I went right, what you agree with, what you disagree with. And, um, you know, just like, comment, subscribe and share. And I'll see y'all soon, man. Peace and love. And I'm out.